is outstanding reminder date anticipated payment date outstanding balance expected amount and actions and if you want to customize this grid you can customize you can add these uh, columns if you want to remove you can untick this column And uh, if you want to send an uh, email by clicking this action, you can send an email. And uh, if you want to add anticipated payment date, you can open this uh, invoice. Go to options. Uh, anticipated payment select anticipated payment click add and uh, from here you can enter those details now uh, you can enter non-payment reason and anticipated payment date expected amount and contact name next action uh, reminder date you can add you can add a note to uh, this non uh, action also Now uh, you can view uh, that customer anticipated payment date uh, and expected amount. And if you want to send reminder, or if you get an get a reminder to follow up the, this, like this outstanding payment, you can get a reminder. Then uh, we will go to outstanding invoices communication run. Uh, from here, we can set current date and uh, you can preview communication. Then Okay, now uh, from this outstanding invoices communication run, uh, you can send invoice reminders uh, to your customers. Now from here, you can view uh, invoice issued after seven days, uh, one invoice, and uh, overdue invoices after seven days, seven, after 30 days, 11, and after 90 days, 144. Okay, now we have set uh, that number of days, seven, uh, then after 30 days, then after 90 days, those days will display here and the uh, system will calculate how many 
number of uh, invoices and total outstanding amounts here then uh, by clicking this uh, send all communications you can send reminders to these customers then uh, next one is uh, customer non payment reasons from here you can add uh, non payment reason you can enter code and description and save then uh, that non payment reason will save system also has uh, several uh, default non reasons and in addition to these uh, reasons if you want you can add by clicking add non payment reason then next one outstanding invoices action code you can add code by clicking this add action code in the code and description for this one also system has a default code and uh, when you are entering that anticipated payment date you can set that non payment reasons also from here you can set uh, non payment reason and next action okay now you can practice this uh, debtors manager balance part you can create a communication run and you can add few customer non payment reasons and outstanding invoices action code